More clues to the location of the first domesticated cat exist inside modern cats too, also in their DNA. The reason? Domesticated cats found anywhere in the world today are descendants of just a few ancient groups. Small numbers split off and migrated around the globe. Each of these subsets has less genetic variation than the original population. If lions can find the group with the most genetic variation, she will have located the closest descendants of the first domesticated cats. To obtain that data, lions will look at more than ancient dead cats. She will need access to thousands of living cats from around the world. All that's required is a little saliva to reveal their DNA mutations. Volunteers from around the planet will collect these DNA samples from their country's domesticated felines. As the mouth swabs arrive, lions will eliminate areas from the globe and hone in on the geographic site of feline domestication. With a good sampling of cats from all over the world, we'll have a very comprehensive study on cat domestication, all over the known cat universe. <laughs> the team sends out swabbing kits to the global recruits. The search for the first pet cat is underway. The alliance between humans and felines is perhaps the most unlikely on Earth. Proud and self-reliant, cats come and go on their terms. They don't need us. Velus catus can take care of itself. The domestic cat is one of the most hardy animals on Earth. An ingenious feline form allows it to thrive in some of the planet's most hostile environments. Living alongside penguins on islands near Antarctica. On the Galapagos chain with little fresh water, cats get by. They flourish as scavengers in big cities and gypsies in rural outposts. Over 600 million claim residence in households across six continents. And now they may have dethroned the dog as the most popular pet on earth. So where did it come from?